Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Egidia Tiffany from Universitas Muhammadiyah Surakarta. I live in Pulang Pisau District, Palangkaraya, Central Kalimantan. Through this persuasive video, I'll be talking about SDGs 5, Gender Equality. The topic is Gender, COVID-19, and the SDGs, Ensuring an Equal and Sustainable Future. COVID-19 pandemic has affected women and girls harder. I will show you why it is important to achieve gender equality. To help you realize this problem, I will ask you to imagine women and girls around us. They can be our mother or our sisters or our friends. This is a big issue that needs to be solved. Why? Because during the COVID-19 pandemic, as victims of domestic violence, women forced to fully stay at home with their abusers. As caregivers in the families and communities, the caring load is increasing because schools and childcare are locked down. As workers, according to the International Labor Organization, COVID-19 pandemic may push 47 million more women into extreme poverty in 2021. As girls, the risk to get married during childhood is higher for girls than boys. Globally, it is estimated that girls who drop out of school due to COVID-19 will result in an additional 13 million child marriages by 2030. Do you feel shocked or upset to hear these facts? It is true, the progress to achieve gender equality by 2030 is slowing down due to COVID-19. Then, how can we ensure an equal and sustainable future so, in this video, I offer three solutions to tackle gender inequality. First, we need to invest in policies and programs that empowering women. Let's learn from Raden Ajeng Kartini, our national heroine. Kartini expanded mobility for native women education during Dutch colonization where only noble women could go to school until the age of 12 before getting married. Female education will create powerful poverty reduction, increase economic productivity, and improve health and well-being. Other inspiring champions that I want you to learn from are Kiai Haji Ahmad Dahlan, who was very supportive and empowering his wife, Nyai Walida, and many women in the communities. We need more men and boys to engage in any field at any level for achieving gender equality. That is why my second solution is increasing in improving partnership with men and boys to create gender equitable norms. The key to gender norm change is to provoke it and speed it up from within, acknowledging and forming partnership. Then, find the conditions necessary to scale up the programs in schools and the workplace where millions of people can be rich, just like what Kiai Haji Ahmad Dahlan and Nyai Walidah did in the past. My last solution is, we need more and better data to assess, building a strong evidence base for policymakers and government leaders will establish what to do in the future to successfully achieve gender equality. So, to close my speech, I will highlight this. Gender inequality is a big obstacle in life. It doesn't only harm women, but also harms the entire population. 
let your mind open and gather your courage. It is our responsibility to make this world equal for men and women, for girls and boys. And you can be a part to achieve gender equality now. The SDGs is very clear where there is no sustainable without gender equality. Thank you.